everyone. How's everyone doing? I hope you're all doing well. I got a box in the mail today. Um, I did promise I was going to do a live stream today at noon, but I just haven't been feeling well. Um, so, I'll probably do the live stream tomorrow of a get ready with me. Um, because I just haven't, like I said, I haven't been feeling well. But the box that I got today, and I'm so excited... But then at the same time, I'm still mad because um, a couple of my friends tried to get this box and they couldn't get it. And and it is the Boxy Charm Lux box. This box is huge. I mean, like it's big and it is heavy. Um, I am super excited about this box. Um, I'm just upset that that. It, this whole box, trying to get the boxy box was like a bad, bad experience. Like, it was horrible. Um, it took me literally almost two and a half hours, three hours to try to get this box. And I was put on a wait list. And then all of a sudden I went and checked my mail, my email, and it said that I was off the wait list and I got the box. And I've been with them for about two years, like two years. And... I'm just very disappointed in how everything went because there are people who got this box that haven't been with um, Boxy Charm for a month and they got the box and it's not right for those who've been, actually been a subscriber and actually paid with their own money and, um, and with, have been with them for years. So if you want, or don't want to show that way. <laughs> Um, so, I'm going to open this, and if you would like to see what is in this box, stay tuned and let's get into the video. Woo! Okay, guys. So, I'm going to open this box. I have not opened it. It's still taped up. But, I'm so excited because there... I know one thing that we're supposed to be getting um and that's pretty exciting okay so you open it up it has hello charmer it kind of has a funky smell to it <laughs> but anyway so you open it up and it looks like this they give you a huge big a sheet um let's see what variation i have of course, I have a variation one. I always get variation one. Even though that they had you an opportunity to, they had a beauty profile thing where you can um, go and choose with things that you like in makeup. And I did that and I still get variation one. That is funny. So it says Wildflower Boxy Luxe. This is everything you get, and then here is everything, and then the, I think it has prices. Yes, it has prices. Ooh, I got something that I want, really wanted. So on top here, I'll start off with this, it's the Tarte um, Park Avenue Princess Contouring Palette. I was so excited that they were going to have this because I wanted to try it. And it's kind of funny how they put a line through this. It's because people sell sell make um, their BoxyCharm makeup to get money out of it. And they put a line through it so you can't do it. So this is what it looks like. It's really, really pretty. Um... Very, very sturdy. And it has, of course, a little thing here. It has the mirror. And then these are the contours and highlighters. These are the highlighters. And then these are the contours. I cannot wait. They, they smell pretty good. I can't wait to um, try them. There is Halo, Adherence, Carrot, Princess Cut, Angel, and Crown. So yeah, this I believe was like forty something dollars. 
Let's see. I will show you. I hope December's box is really, really good too. Okay, let's see. The prices. Okay, the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Palette is worth $45. And this box costs $49.99. Um, no, $48.99. And so that is all close to the whole box. Next, we're going to, this, and this is what it looks like. They really, really did package it well. And, and this is what it looks like inside. Now, um, they did say that if you got the Rugger Boxy Luxe um, this month, there's like, I believe, one, two, three, three of the five items you get out of the Rugger $21 a month box. So, and that's pretty good too. So the next thing here is the Nightingale Pretty Vulgar um, Eyeshadow Palette. That's very, very pretty. It says, embrace your beautiful uh, contradictions. Okay. <laughs> it has a mirror. Ooh, these are beautiful colors. Here are the colors. Look at that. That's pretty. It's really, really pretty. I'm going to um, swatch this color right here. Clutch. And I spy. There is what those look like. These are just the shimmers. Those are really pretty. Um, this, the Nightingale Eyeshadow Palette retails for $35. So with this and the Tarte um, Park Avenue Princess, that pays for this whole entire box. And that is really cool. Okay. The next item we have here are the Alamar three makeup brushes. And now it wasn't last month, but the month before we got the Alamar um, palette. If I can find it, I don't have it here. But yeah, it was the Alamar um, palette. And now we got brushes to go with them. Ooh, and these are really, really soft. Really, 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 really soft. Um, this is a good br blending brush. I'm glad that we got... You can't go bad when it comes to brushes because you use them all the time. I have tons and tons of brushes. And I just like using them, like different types and things like that. And those brushes... Um... These brushes cost $18. Okay. Next. Oh, and I'm so excited I got this. I wanted this um, blush. I didn't want the Galactic blush because it's a cream and I don't like using creams. I got the Laura Geller Baked Blush and Brighten um, Tropical Hues. And I'm glad I got this because I always wanted to try Laura, Laura Geller's products. It has a mirror. And this is what it looks like. That's really, really pretty. Oh, it's soft. Ooh, that's pretty. Can you see it? It's right there. That's beautiful. And this blush costs $28. So, this box is going to be, like, over 300 and something dollars. Like, some of it, it just depends on what variation you got. It could be, like, $355 or around 300 and something dollars. And that is, like, really cool. Okay. The next thing we got, which this was a, um, like, just an add on. Oh, this is a nice bag. It says, um, totes, a charmer. It's a really nice cotton bag. Like, 
seriously, it's like really nice and soft. It's not like one of those plastic bags, but that is cool. I can take that um, grocery shopping, put all my groceries in it. So the next thing, ooh, I got the resting beach face, which is this, um, the photo finish so chill coconut primer water. Wow, and there was three different ones you could get, and I wanted the coconut one because I just love coconut. I love how coconut smells, and I and I always wanted to try this um, primer water. I'm running low on my Max Fix Plus wherever I put it. Oh, right here. I'm running low on that. I need to get some more of this because I just love that. And I know, like, there's different scents, but I wanted this scent. And I never tried um, Smashbox. Let's spray it. Ooh, that smells good. That smells amazing. It smells like coconut, and it's just really, really nice. Wow. <laughs> um, so this, this is a limited edition photo finish primer rotter, um, and this is $32, and it's a collab with, I don't know how to say her name. It's her. Does it say? Mm. Beauty Guru um, Nicole Concillo. That's who she is, Nicole Concillo. I guess she's a beauty guru. I never heard of her, so I don't even know who she is. And so there is that. Then, let's do this one. I got this. This was amazing. Um, I really didn't want the moisturizer. I wanted the, the serum. But this right here is probably the most expensive item in this box. I believe it's like $78. Um, let me see. I will tell you. The... Um, Stem Cell anti wrinkle Moisturizer. This is $70. The other one, the serum, was like $80. But still, that is good. And I've gotten um, Juice Beauty items in other... And this box looks like... Um, in other subscriptions, but just sample size of it. And I love it. It's like amazing. Um, so, it looks like this. And this is a 50 ml 1.7 fluid ounce pretty good oh cool it's one of these that you um sorry about the light that you press down and the the moisturizer comes out there we go I'm gonna take oh smells pretty good I got a little bit out I'm just gonna rub it on my hand it smells really good, nice. It smells citrusy. Um, like a clean citrus scent. But it's, it feels very, very moisturizing. Very moisturizing. Yeah, it smells like lemon citrus type. Um, it's an anti-wrinkle moisturizer. This would be good also um, with my um, skincare. Put this on at night and everything. Okay, so there is that. Put that down here. Then we got this. I got the Violet Voss um, and Trist. This is what this is my first Violet Voss. Like I've always wanted to try her eyeshadow palettes. Um, because they just look really, really nice. Ooh, and this is a pink. Now, you could have got Violet Voss. You could have got, um, what is it? The Hank and Henry. 
and you could have got um, a, I think maybe a Smashbox, but I like this. Uh, I know some people who got this box did not like this color because or didn't like it. They wanted a different brand. But I like this because I like pinks and nudes and and that is a good color. It's like really, really nice. At least I didn't get brown. <laughs> if you guys have been following me for a long time, you know I always get browns. Like, uh, I don't want browns. I'm not a brown type girl. Okay. The next thing we got here, ooh, is a Lexi brush. Woo! We love Lexi. Love Lexi brushes. I have a whole bunch of them. They're really nice brushes. Look, and it looks like this. I guess you could put your finger like this, hold it, and this is, oh, excuse me. <laughs> this is an airbrush foundation brush. This, brush. this is a Lexi 752. Now, if you don't know about Lexi brushes, they are a very expensive brand of Lexi. I mean, they're a very expensive brand of makeup brushes, but their brushes are, like, really nice. This is so soft. Um, this costs $38 just for this one brush. $38. That is crazy. And that, I wouldn't pay $38 for this brush. Um, and that's just too much because they sell them individually. But, but if I had to buy a brush, I would buy Lexi because I just love Lexi. Um, they're such a good brand. And what, and if you got this box and you got, um, the brush, let me know, um, how you feel about it. If you like Lexi brushes or, or what. So the next thing I got, which I've gotten this before, this is a R and Co Death Valley Dry Shampoo. I know this is not the full size, but it says, um, let me find it. It says that this is seventeen dollars, um, but this might be the full size, and but I don't think it is. I don't know, but it looks like this. Um, I I don't really like dry shampoos because they just don't do nothing to my hair. Like even if my hair is a little greasy and I put it on, it don't do. It just makes it even more greasier. Um, I don't. I and it could be because I have such thin hair, and it's just. Whatever. Ooh. I did. Um, they were having a giveaway of all these brushes and, and, and this headband from the Vintage Cosmetics. Ooh, this is really soft. And this is, um, let's see. This is $4.99 for this. But I've been wanting a, um, let's put this on. I've been wanting um, a, a headband type like this so when I wash my face, my hair won't get in the way. But it may not even stay up on my head because my hair is so thin. It just slides right off. But that is what it looks like. But that is cool. I'm so glad. And it's it's like a um, terry cloth. Like terry cloth. Like the, what bath roads bath robes are made out of and it looks like that and finally I'm so excited and I can't wait until Ipsy does their box it's a full-size box you can upgrade to $25 and I know you can get early access or on the list but um, I didn't I wrote them and asked them and they said that they haven't done it yet but they said um, they haven't brought out the list so you can sign up for early access. But I've seen what October's box because um, it's going to be coming out in October. Um, the new Ipsy box and they have a So De Niro product in it. They have a big um, the lotion um, that we got in our, what is it, um, Ipsy or or one of our subscriptions that was a little tiny one when they're giving out on Ipsy on this new subscription the big one and now I have this this is the So De Niro or Gennaro is it Gennaro yeah 
um, Impen, I, I, it's Sunset Glow Oral, and I like their stuff, like, but I've never tried this. Now, they said that you can use this all over your body, like your chest right here. Um, you can use it on your face, like, um, when you have it on your face, like, use it maybe, like, as a highlighter or mix it in with your foundation and it gives you a nice glow. But look at this. This thing is huge. That is huge. And it has an extra cap. But it's an illuminator. Um, but yeah, you can put it all over your body and in your um, foundation. I will open it. See if I can open it. It is shut. So I'm going to open it. I can open it a little bit. Ooh, it smells amazing. It has the same smell. Whoa. It has the same smell as that lotion. That is amazing. I thought it smelled like coconuts, but it's not coconut. It's a different scent. I forget. But I'm going to put it like right here. See that? And then if you blend it in. You can't hardly see it. Ah. I just see oral. I don't see no shine. Now I think if you're a darker complexion. It might show up. But when I do it. I just get oral. It's like nothing. So I don't know if it's because I didn't shake it up. You should shake it up. But it smells amazing. It smells amazing. Um, let me see if it tells you the scent of this because so I can tell you this actual scent. I forget what they said the scent of this was, but it smells amazing. And then you just tuck that. That gives you extra protection, so if it does leak, it won't go everywhere. But it smells really good. But on me, it doesn't have a shine or anything. It just has makes it look like it's an oral, basically. Maybe I just didn't shake it up. Shake it up. But that's what it looks like. You can't even tell I even have it on. But this... Retails uh, for um thirty five dollars. Wow! So this box was over three hundred dollars, and maybe three hundred fifty five dollars, but it was over three hundred dollars, and that is amazing. Um, I know some people are so upset because they wanted this box and they couldn't get it. And there are a lot of people that are so pissed off that they have unsubscribed from BoxyCharm because of what they did. I did see the meme of where, um, or the gif of where, um, the CEO was taking a box from somebody. I just thought that was really rude, knowing that there were people wanting this box. And I just thought it was really rude of him snatching that box and then laughing. I don't think that was that funny, but yeah. I am going to be testing out these products. I was going to do a get ready with me last night, but then yesterday, but I fell asleep and I didn't wake up to eight. Then I'm going, and then I was going to do it today at noon, but I just don't feel well. Um, I'm going to try to do it tomorrow, and I'm going to be using this, which we got in. Um, which box did I get this? In my Lola box. Um, and then I can use the Park Avenue, Tarte, and the Lloyd Geller. Or, would you like me to not do the Lola Box makeup look and just do what I got in this boxy charm? And I have a full face, a contour, an eyeshadow palette, a blush. I also have a setting spray. I have a lippy. And I have 
the foundation brush. I think I may do this tomorrow. So yeah, and then another day I will do this because I know some of you guys probably want me to do a look with this and test it out and show you guys what I come up with. And so yeah, so I want to say thank you everyone who is subscribed to me. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. And come visit me in my live streams on my second channel. And I will leave that link down in the description below so you can sign up with my second channel. So you'll get notifications when I go live. So I love you guys and I'll talk to you later. Bye!